Alright guys, now here's the second part of the video. Uh, now just before I get into the operation of it, there's just a couple of things I want to show you first. Um, inside the red light compartment here, um, turn the light on again, I want to show you all the wire connections that are in it. It's really pretty cool. Um, Alright, there we go. Um, pull, pull this out. Oh, no. Look at all that. These are all the, um, this is how um, every light is normally connected. Um, what you have here is, um, I'll try to explain. These three, there goes the grandfather clock again. Uh, these three wires right here are the ones that go to the uh, lamp. They come from these three wires right here that are connected to the sequencer. And as you can see, um, they were very smart when they designed these things because they actually color coded the wire for which light it goes to. Um, that's very smart and it was probably, you know, American made back then. Um, maybe it is today too, who knows. Um, and, and down here, it's kind of hard to see. These are the um, neutral or common wires. All three bulbs connect to this one terminal on the bottom here. So that's how they all, that's how, they, that's, that's how they're all connected. Um, this one up top here isn't used. But um, it, they used to have it set up as, you know, red was down here and green was up here. But I decided to follow, um, you know, red on top, green on the bottom. I just figured it was more organized that way. And then um, down below, I'll show you the sequencer that, that, I, that I installed. Um, you know, I've got to put the camera down for a minute just, to, just so I can close this thing properly. Hang on. <laughs> just, talk amongst, just talk amongst yourselves or whatever. Or just, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. There we go. All right. Actually, not quite. Hold on. Uh, you, you know what, guys? I'll just give you a time slot in the video description so you can skip me uh, futzing around with this. <laughs> There we go. All right. If maybe I could just. Okay, that was pretty annoying. <laughs> but uh, actually, yeah, here you know what? I'll get you a shot of it with the light on, so you can see the reflection in the bulbs and everything. Yeah, it's nice. Um, okay, and then down here in the green light compartment is where the um, is where the sequencer is. Same setup as before, there's the green lens, green light, pull it out. And there's the, I gotta put the light on again. There's the sequencer right there, you can see the power cord right here, and you can see um, the circuit board right there, and the um, green light wires right here, and you can see the wires going into, um, going into the top there. And there's two, um, this knob right here, I don't know how well you can see it, this controls how slow or fast the light cycles. I have it currently set to the slowest setting. And these two switches here are the flash switches, um, which is, you know, you, you can do flashing mode on this light, which is pretty cool, so. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the number one switch on, which is red flash mode. And now I'll plug it in and show it to you in operation, finally getting to that. And like I said, if you guys want, I'll put time slots in the video description of, of, of the uh, cycle switching just so, um, just so, uh, what do you call it, um, you, um, you don't have to, you don't have to keep watching me, uh, change the, uh, mode on the, uh, sequencer, okay? Alright, yeah, that, that's good enough. Alright. Alright, and here we go. And there you go, look at that. And you know, you sometimes see flashing lights like this, um, you know, ones that face the uh, fire departments, um, which with no trucks coming out, or you know, um, or you know, you'll sometimes see on the side streets. Um, usually, some side streets have this flashing light if you know um, there isn't too much traffic on the main road, and it's um, you know, figuratively speaking, safe for them to uh, to move out. Okay, and now I'll show you the um, yellow flash mode. 
Like I said, if, if you enjoy if you enjoy watching this, that's great. But if you don't, just go ahead and uh, and, and hit the time slot in the video description so you don't have to watch this. Put switch two on. All right. Don't worry. The, when I close the cover, it just puts it back where it belongs. That's good enough. Okay. And your usual yellow flash mode. Um, you know, and actually, I want to say that this is what lights are programmed to do if something malfunctions in the uh, in the control panel. How it does, I'm not sure, but this is just what it's programmed to do. Um, and you know, this is what you'll see on the main roads um, if the light's not working, or if you see on main roads um, that go by fire departments. And uh, there's your tip. And you know, this means proceed with caution and all, all that good stuff. And all right, now now I'm going to show you a mode that's actually pretty interesting. Um, this mode is alternating flash and what that means is um you can um it had well whatever I, I won't spoil it but you can pro you're, you're probably figuring it out already but uh, if, you, if you put both switches on then it, it does something pretty interesting and you know what hold on a second <laughs> ah there we go okay and um here i'll plug it in again You can actually make the light alternate between red and yellow. Now, I've never, for the life of me, seen a light do this. I mean, other than other than flash modes for the main street and the side street. But one thing I did think about is this is probably similar to how the um, what do you call it? To how the uh, train lights flash. You know, when, when a train's coming by. So, um, so that that probably explains how that works. Um, okay. Now, now I'll do what you've probably been waiting for, and I'll do the. Um, the regular sequencer mode. Go ahead and open this again. Okay, and now if I yeah, if I turn both switches off, there we go. Now it'll do its normal mode. Okay. I really gotta, I really gotta work on getting this thing on properly. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, and here we go. Now, when I first plug it in, you'll see that it'll do, it'll do a lamp check and then begin. <clears throat> and there you have it. You can see now now it works just like how it normally does on the street. Um, like I said, I have this currently set to the slowest setting, so that means um, it's on uh, what is it? It's on green and red for about a minute, and then. Um, and then uh, yellow light is on for five or six seconds, so it's pretty. That's pretty standard operation. And I'll finish this, you know, once um, once the light goes red, I'll finish it there. And um, yeah, I mean, ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to. Uh, <clears throat> I've always wanted to see these things uh, or have one of these things. One of the childhood dreams, if you want to call it that. And also, the visors are. I don't know if you can tell, but the visors are angled down, so um, so uh, I guess you know that way that way it's it focuses more on the street where you are, since these things are you know they're not street level, they're 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 a lot higher up. <sighs> and yeah, just wait for it to cycle. One of the nice oh there you go. One of the nice things about the newer LED ones is that some of them actually have the colored lenses and not just the clear ones, and I do like that a lot. All right, guys. And there you have it. There's your typical uh, light uh, cycle. Um, if you want to wait uh, for it to go back to green, that's fine. If not, you can you can just stop here, and then um, and then otherwise, I'll just wait for this to go green again, and then we'll finish it there. Takes about a minute, so. And like I said, I'm really glad I have glass lenses and not uh, plastic ones because. Uh, you know, those sometimes, if you go down old roads, you'll see, like, burn marks on the plastic lenses from, from the heat of the light. <laughs> that, that, thankfully, that doesn't happen with glass ones. So I was pretty lucky in that sense that I was able to get an old light with, with glass lenses. And just do its thing. <laughs> Maybe I could have sped up the sequencer for the video, but I guess I just didn't think about it, so. 
Yeah, and there you go. All right, guys, and that's everything. Uh, maybe some point in the future I'll make a video of this mounted on my wall when I get the time. But until then, that's it, guys, all right? So uh, thanks for watching, and take care.